But let's get right into this. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Flattery. Guys, a brand new video. We're gonna be talking about uh, the Miss T Lex fight situation and just everything going on about it and everything like that. It's it's kind of crazy. Everybody was like, "Whoa, Lex is a p this," and it turns out that Lex is actually a victim. And I held my tongue for a while. I didn't want to say Miss T Lex fight was chalk because I was only hearing one side of the story. But I was inclined to believe that Lex maybe was this weirdo, but something just wasn't fitting right, bro. It's just the way JC backfired, the way Noah J456, the way that Smith plays was playing it up, and even this Pi Mat 7 guy was playing it up. By the way, this guy is a soy boy loser. Uh, he ended up making a whole video about this. It just completely got dismantled uh, with Mr. T. Lexify's video. And I understand being wrong. Like he even says his wait before you comment. I have a video going up on the recent response of Mr. T. Lexify video defending himself and exposing Reagan, his girlfriend, about blackmailing him and lying about abuse. Tune in then or not. This video will stay up as an example of how people felt when said evidence at the time was shown. I agree with him, but I don't know what happened to him, but he ended up blocking me on Twitter for this uh, comment. I'm like, why did you remove this comment uh, at PyMat? Because he disabled all the comments on his video after the Mr. T Lex Fight video went up directly. And uh, he goes, as a lot of you know, Mr. T Lex Fight uploaded a video explaining his situation with his ex girlfriend. There was a lot of new information added to this situation. Mr. T Lex Fight proving that Reagan, his ex, was a narcissist psychopath that basically lied about multiple things to try and prove her point. But I still stand by what I said. What? What did you say? Because you essentially called Lex a pedo. <laughs> essentially, uh, I could I could be pulling straws here, but that's essentially the the vibe that I got from it because I I, I like Pi Mad's video. Lex is still not innocent by any means. He, okay, he even says it here. He's no longer innocent in this situation. Nor is Reagan. But I leave it up to you, the viewer, to make the final decision on how you feel about this. I may make another video about this in the future, but for now, have a great day and God bless American us. I was like, okay, why did he remove this comment? And bro goes, cause little R words like you in my comments all on my dick. What? <laughs> what? All right, bro, probably getting really mad. He's getting a lot of hate messages. Delete the video. Ain't nobody buying it. Everybody's just saying, yo, should update this. Beat the allegations. Homie, beat the allegations. Despicable. You should apologize. Everybody's just just hating on him. This age like spoiled milk. I Like, Pi Man, I do think it was a good video. I just think you were misinformed and you jumped the gun to try and get ahead of the game. But bro, bro did not want to get rid of the video. It's fine. He, he's going to keep it up. But then he just goes ahead and contradicts himself literally days later. Moving forward, the whole Noah J456 video insane the smith plays video insane after everything had gone through with the lex allegations the smith plays refuses to admit he's wrong bro he even says i just want to clarify that jc has never cheated on his girlfriend jc had nothing to do with this i have known lex's side for years and i do not and have never defended reagan but your whole video is pretty much saying lex is a, a poo poo head and reagan is someone who's innocent you i think jc was caught cheating with his girl i mean everybody else said it even mr lexify said it come on i think noah even said it in his response i could be wrong about that might have got that wrong but bro just refuses to admit when he's wrong um but if you haven't at least seen both sides of the story i i really encourage you to to read reagan's most recent posts on her twitter my favorite thing about the whole smith place thing to this whole fucking take right is he's like uh if you haven't seen both sides of the story i encourage you to go take a look at reagan's twitter like how is reagan's twitter gonna validate both sides of the story and on top of that lex reached out to you before you made the video bro before you made it and you did not respond so lex said all right i'm gonna give my side of the story once again you did not take a look at both sides of the story you're a hypocrite smith plays you got caught in the water bro this is l l l l l l bro minus one million aura bro there's no way this dude is real I just can't I can't get it over Mr. Snake plays over here saying uh, he wasn't involved in the situation, but he was involved in taking Reagan's side without even giving Lex a chance. It's really insane to me. I mean, you can see this. Say what you, look at the screenshot. Say what you want about my actions. I'll accept what you think. But I just want to say one thing. Lex flat out lied about JC. I was with him the entire Coachella weekend and Lex only saw one or two artists with JC. Lex chose chooses to conveniently believe her here to shift any blame away from him all right okay okay whatever fine 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 lex lied we'll say that that doesn't excuse your other shit though bro jc and noah weren't involved in the situation anyway and to bring their names into this is disgusting why if all the allegations are false why make more enemies for no reason why lie i've known reagan to be extremely toxic for years but i just don't understand this he didn't need to lie if he is innocent reagan is clearly abusive and i'm glad people are finally seeing that i just don't understand the lies because you didn't have his back bro you already threw him under the bus this whole video is a dumpster fire on the lex bro you you took reagan's side so of course 
All his friends seem like they have abandoned him. They've attacked him. And in your video, Smith Plays, Noah and JC responded in the comment section. So, of course, he's going to throw jabs at them if they're going to throw jabs at Lex with, once again, not getting the full story. How are you this dumb? There's no way you're this dumb. They think they're above judgment, and that kind of pisses me off. Lex is also a victim in this situation. I mean, we, we could see what Reagan was doing. We could see clear as day. Could Lex have helped himself and cut off communication? Absolutely. And I'm pretty sure that's why you're mad at Lex. Uh, he didn't cut off communication and he lied to you guys about it. But at the end of the day, you called him a friend. You need to be there to help your friend, right? You can't just call it quits when it gets too tough being a friend. That's called being a fair weather friend, Smith Place. And you owe it to Lex. Either you, you apologize and admit you were wrong, and you try to rekindle that bridge with Lex, or you're just a fair weather friend and you were never actually his best friend at all. And I'm pretty sure there's more stuff that I don't know about. There's, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes that I don't know about. But again, all of us can only see what's going on here and it makes you look like the bad guy. So there it is. I'm gonna call you a fair weather friend until more evidence comes out, I will retract. I'll do something you won't do, admit that I'm wrong and retract my statements. I recant, I will recant. That is something I will do. <sighs> So, just for context. Now let's move on to Noah J456. This month, your bro, I can't believe, bro had a whole 15 minute stream, right? Get this, Noah J456 had a whole 15 minute stream and never once addressed the Lexify situation. He was so worried about the cheating scandal and the mini lad situation at the DJ. He spent eight minutes on the mini lad DJ party thing. Nobody cares, bro. So three years ago, I met another streamer, Foozly, ended up having many long talks with her about her breakup with her then fiance that she has had been going through. And me, in my marriage, that I was very, very unhappy in. So we bonded through these talks and at some point we realized that we had feelings for each other. It's, it's crazy because he starts the whole thing off, right? Apologizing to everyone and then explaining why he cheated on his wife. Why are you apologizing to us about cheating on your wife? You should explain to us what happened in the events leading up to you cheating on your wife and everything like that and the action. But you don't have to be sorry to us about it. You should be sorry to Martina for cheating on your wife. Divorce her. Don't cheat on her. You've now hurt her for no reason. And... I'm sorry, if you're gonna leave comments under, you know, the Smith Plays videos and then get upset, you know, and all these other guys get upset when Lex jabs back at you guys in other videos, don't open your mouth next time. It's, it's that simple, you guys threw a jab and he threw one back. The mini line thing was just a point that stacked up on top of how much of a piece of shit friend you were being to Lex. You were supporting JC and him touching his sister. That actually happened. That's still a no-no, I don't care if they were together or they weren't together that's still a no-no bro that's still shady bro that's slimy behavior i'm just saying bro uh, uh, bro code i'm just saying that you can literally go to my music youtube channel and watch um so this this is just a video of earlier in the set 15 minutes in and this should show the first time he ever shows up and just before i go any farther over here on the right side is my girlfriend who i appreciate who I appreciate so much and was in a very dark place last night. Um, there were two allegations against me that I'm sure pretty much all of you guys have seen by now. Once again, he's very upset, has the crocodile tears going and everything like that. He's just upset about the two allegations going against him, but not really upset about the whole Mr. T. Lexify situation going against him. That's the big thing coming against you. I don't understand why you're taking so much time out of your day to worry about these two allegations. Nobody cares about these two allegations, bro. You cheated on your girl. We all know that. You done fucked up and you fucking shitted on, had mini lad at the event, never disavowed it. You had the videos up for a while, never disavowed it. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying, and on top of that, you knew Mini Lad was there. You may not have personally invited him. That was the allegation that you personally invited him, but you knew he was there. And you could have just straight up disavowed that and you decided, eh, wipe it under the rug. Just like the marriage, wipe it under the rug. I don't know your personal or interpersonal relationships with her. Maybe divorce was the best thing, but cheating to get a divorce is not it. Get the divorce and then get another girl. Don't ever cheat. Don't ever cheat. You can ruin somebody's life that way. You can, you're absolutely hurting the other person, not yourself at the end of the day. You're hurting her and not you at the end of the day. And if you really respected her, you would have never cheated on her. You would have got the divorce. You would have manned the fuck up and got the divorce and then went off and had fun. All right. Leaving within five minutes of showing up to this area. And at the end of the day, that's literally the truth of what happened. And again, I, I hate that this has to be in this 
stream where I'm trying to take accountability for something and I have to have to do this in the same video. So the only way to move forward from mistakes that you've made is acknowledging this, the mistakes that you've made. Uh, this whole, once again, this whole stream, you never acknowledge the mistakes with life, bro. You never, you're never going to move past this, bro. This is still going to bring this up. Like you didn't, you didn't cap over this. You just completely avoided it by only talking about the allegations and not the actual problem at hand, which was you and Miss T Lexify and that whole relationship and everything like that, bro. Come on. Come on. Nobody actually cares, bro. Like, talk about the Lex situation. He never once addresses the Mr. T Lexify situation, bro. And I don't think he ever is. He just spent the whole time coping about Mini Lad being at his future factory set. His little DJ party, bro. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, bro. Honestly, I was just a nail in the coffin already. That's all it was. That's all it was. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Noah Jay's just coping online? Is he taking a fat L? I think they all needed him. The Smith plays. JC backfire. They all need to come forward. They all need to talk about this because right now I feel like, hey, Lex was a bad person. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Lex wasn't a bad person. And that's the idea that I'm getting from all this. I don't know what's going on. Hey, these points Lex made are incorrect. What is going on? What is happening? Is Lex a victim or not? Let me know what you guys think. In the comments below. See you all in the next one. Peace out. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out of here.